Ziggity Zig back with more Tales from the Ladder, and this is one set sent in by our new friend over here named Kalti, who I did cast in the first Daily Life tournament, which was a number of weeks ago, and he sent these in, and it took me a really long time to finally get around to it, but it's Kalti on... up against a Dream. Kalti's the Zerg down here in the bottom right, and Dream up here in the top left of Frozen Temple. This is a ladder game between the two. I believe... Why don't I set these as the right colors? Because now we're probably coming in as purple and green, but whatevs. This is uh, this is me showing showing you precisely what we're getting for um, for the EPM over there. Galdi making his way slowly across the map, but also going for a pretty early spawning pool and one gas. Which, if I knew anything about the game, <gasps> would probably be able to tell you what kind of awesome builds you would be moving towards. Now, since I have play, uh, I have uh, casted Kalti a number of times, I can usually tell you that this means that this is going to be leading to a really cool, very fast speed build. There's the 100, but he doesn't quite have the gas to get the speed, because I believe that's 100, 100 metabolic boost, and no banelingness. So it's usually speed into banelingness. Here comes Dream's SCV. He's going to come in and have a quick peek. Two Zerglings on the way for Kalti, and the um, second barracks on the way for Dream. So not really worrying too... Actually, no, it's the first barracks, second barracks. What am I talking about? It's like one minute and 25 in. How fast do I think this game is going? Four Zerglings now on the way, and so this SCV is probably not going to be able to defend itself with its tiny little drill. It's going to go bzzit, bzzit, bzzit. Bzz. And it's gone. So the four Zerglings are going to just make their way up to the front. And actually, Dream appears to be taking a very fast second, despite the fact that he does know that there is aggression already. And in fact, Kalti is the one who does not know what Dream is planning on doing. Where Dream has a full scan. He does. He, he has a full parade of uh, Kalti's base, so he knows that there was an early spawning pool, and he knows that there's going to be units on the map. So here comes the Reaper, and the Reaper is obviously being... I don't know if he's trying to hope that maybe that can contain these these Zerglings, but they're going to be Speedlings inside of a couple of seconds. We're really not that far away from the met metabolic boost. Am I on faster than normal? I feel like things are moving uh, quite a bit faster. That's No, that's a bit more like it. So 10 Speedlings and another bunch of Speedlings over there. So there's, wow, a whole bunch on the way and more, many more coming across the map. These are actually... Oh, and then there's the maneuver is we get the Overlord. The Overlord was working on the... Uh, what is... What is the... Uh, you can get... You can get a morph. Or, it, yeah, you sort of stand around and turn it into one of the... One of the transportation ones. But uh, there's only a one defensive move unit right now. These other... Zerglings are going to make their way up, so while Dream was able to create a wall down here, Kalti does get in just to the side with Kalti's 370 EPM, and just moves his way up towards his bunker, a very last minute bunker on the way from Dream, but Kalti's definitely going to be able to take that out, but the SEVs are doing a number on destroying these units, and in fact, getting up to a great number of, of units is uh, Dream doing alright, but I think no, not quite enough, so he was Kalti does have diminished Zerglings, Speedlings here, but not quite enough to hold off this invasion. Uh, there's a bunch, yeah, even more streaming across, you can see down here in the purple, and they do manage to get rid of uh, the the ones that were attacking that bunker. Still slowly making their way up the hill, Kalti deciding to use the back door instead of the front door approach, because the front door's got that big-ass bunker right in the way. The back door, however, has a Hellion, and I think I gotta say six... Zerglings going up against that Hellion. They're probably going to be big, uh, good enough. There's a number of drones now on the way here for Kalti, and he is just going to follow this up with an expansion. So, yeah, just deciding that he can't go up against the two Hellions down there at the same time. So now, if you take a look at the worker supply, however, is much, much lower for Dreams. So the income is quite a bit lower, although he does have full energy here, so the, the um, mules... Oh my god, too many M words. Mules are going to be enough. Speedlings just coming in to have a poke just to see what's going on, just to make sure the Dream is not trying to take any kind of third, although I don't see how he would have the economy to do that just yet, so it's pretty much going to be entirely down to um, all of the workers hopefully getting on the gas as best as possible up here. No, not on the gas, it's just going to be Marines, 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 as best you can possibly do right now. Uh, why don't I have that? I want to be able to see... Hmm, well, apparently that's something I need to work on, is just to be able to see what uh, when you hover over 
but the Hellions are on the way, and no blue flame from the tech lab just yet, but he is working on a couple of Widow Mines, but the orange flame is going to be enough to go against these uh, this number of Zerglings at the moment, although there are a number of others on the way, and the second hatchery, the Roachhorn, now going up against um, Dream's mech units, because that's probably the best way to go up against these Hellions, where the Roachhorn will not be finished by the time that Kalti, that uh, Dream shows up on Kalti's door, and in fact, it's just drones here, so Dream is going to be able to do a number here, and it's actually going to uh, going to be able to retaliate quite a bit and getting a number of kills there. So the units killed are actually evening out quite a bit. The, the workers killed definitely ahead for Kalti, but the units killed. Dream is now coming in and getting rid of a number of these units now on his on his own, but the queen is there to protect. No other units actually being protected right now, but six roaches are about to pop right now, and they're probably going to pop right up here in the top base. Yep, there we go, and that's going to take care of the remainder of these Hellions. So the three Hellions go down. More... Hmm, not really sure what... Uh, it's going to be a bunker on the way. And one Hellion just sort of sits here at the front base of uh, Dream. And it's going to be Roach, 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 Roach. I think I got that right. It's five of them in there. The uh, Ejects are hitting up pretty much on point right now. Another four Roaches, so that makes four and five is a total of nine. I went to school. I know how to count. But the tenth one is right there, so I was wrong. That's what happens when you graduate with a 2.0 GPA. That's right, kids, you heard it first. And along comes the roaches. The roaches are going to run into a little bit of a problem if they were to go into the front door, but luckily they still are counting on this overlord, who is going to get a little bit shot. But uh, while it's getting shot, the roaches down here are actually uh, the ranged units, and they're able to make their way in. The ravager, in fact, from the roach... Uh, the Roach Evolution is going to do a huge amount of damage from down here on the bottom because of the vision that Kalti is able to gain from up top. And in fact, does lose the Overlord, but just des decides to move in these main units into Dream's base without moving the bottom units or the outside units around to the front door because the front door is very, well, mostly heavily protected. But now it's going to be a siege tank that he's up against. And the Ravager just needs to move ever so slightly more in order to do something. And he's doing a little bit of a scoot and shoot here with the tank from Dream, but he is killing just a number of more units, and there's almost no units on the map. Actually, another worker supply is pretty decent for Dream, and it's actually slightly ahead, even though he's only able to mine on the one base and not both. So the income is meh, slightly skewed only in so far as the amount of gas that Dr Kalti is making is far superior than that of Dream, so that just makes that... Kalti is able to make more advanced units than Dream because his economy is a bit more widespread. So here comes another Ravager there, and that's pretty much going to take care of another ba batch of workers of Dreams. Kalti just making his way in here and taking out these pesky, pesky bunkers. Doesn't have to take the back door anymore because it would take a very, very long time to get the Overlord to the other side of the base, and that's GG. Very, very strong push there from Kalti and a huge follow-up behind it. I love watching Kalti's games, which is why I'm glad I have several more. So we're going to have some more Kalti games coming up until my voice gives out. Leave me a comment down below. Send me an email, ziggityzig at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at ziggityzig. Stay tuned.